Like probably many of you, I've been spending quite a lot of time indoors recently because, well, lockdown is a thing. But I'm using my daily allowed exercise to come out here and maybe film in a slightly new location for a change of pace. And now that no one's around, I don't have to worry about anyone coming in and thinking I'm weird or anything by talking to a phone. So, everything's been, been cancelled, including Computex, which is a place everyone speculated that NVIDIA would announce a brand new RTX 3000 series of graphics cards. They have been teasing it, and they have been saying that it's going to be amazing, but of course, why wouldn't they? But what is actually going to be happening with them? We don't know anything, so that's why I wanted to take this time, maybe speculate and give some of my theories on what could be happening. One thing I'm pretty certain that they're not going to do is drop RTX at all. And maybe you have been speculating that, you know, they may get tired of this giving, but at this point, they must have that RTX, the, the ray tracing, so well optimized that the next logical step would be removing any non-RTX cards. So maybe you have been saying that, you know, they can't wait for the next like, GTX 1700 series of cards or whatever, but honestly, I can't see them coming because, well, why should they? At this point, they should have the ray tracing so well optimized that shouldn't really be a thing. And so that's why I think that by next gen, the current like GTX 1650, 1660, the whole 1600 series cards, they're going to be replaced by the kind of performance we're seeing now in the 2060 and 2060 Super instead. However, one thing I'm almost confident about, and you may call me crazy about this, but I am confident that what they're going to do is they're going to essentially merge a graphics card and a capture card together. You may think that's crazy, but let me explain. For the past few generations, NVIDIA has been really pushing that the cards are not just these high-end, extremely efficient graphics cards, but also this entryway into this ecosystem of NVIDIA tools, such as, you know, GeForce Experience, Shadowplay, Ansel, and a lot more. And recently, the addition of the NVENC encoder has been big for them, and people are now turning to NVIDIA RTX graphics cards for their streaming and recording PCs because of how amazing the Turing NVENC encoder is. So wouldn't it be too much of a stretch for them to add, you know, an in and out, like seeing capture cards on the back of this brand new generation of graphics cards, and boom, you're gonna have yourself an NVENC powered capture card. And it's windy and I absolutely hate it. Apart from that, the other big thing, uh, apart from that, I also can see them maybe scratching having these two generations at the same time like it had this time and instead maybe just once again go to a fifth um a 3050 ti and a 3050 since how they did with the gtx uh, 1000 series because at this point I, I at least i hope that they do have the whole ray tracing thing mastered enough for them to you know really make those cards actually make sense uh, one thing that's still really preventing all of this from truly exploding is just a lack of big games however with this new launch i am hoping nvidia is really going to try and pers start persuading developers to push for including ray tracing and they have been making definitely way easier in the past year or so so hopefully it's going to really take off soon you know, there's, there's some very big releases. In fact, Cyberpunk 2077 itself is enough to probably make some people go out and buy a 20 Ti. And is it raining? Are you actually kidding me? One time I tried to get go out and get some exercise, I what can you do with this. Uh, so I can definitely see them, you know, trying to sway a few more developers over in the lead up to the release of RTX 3000, so they can actually persuade people to buy these RTX cards for the ray tracing. Because, like I said before, it kind of leads to this very weird environment, especially with the RTX 2060 and 2060 Super. Well, not really the 2060 Super, but the 2060 was a very weird time. Because people were buying it for, like, because it was a good deal, and a really good for, like, budget PCs, but not for the actual ray tracing. It was kind of awful for ray tracing. And I think that's something they try to then fix by, you know, adding in the 2060 Super and then also adding the GTX cards. Because imagine how much greater the 2060 would be if they just scratched ray tracing from it and then just use that spare budget to re-up the performance. That would be amazing. And it's starting to rain rather bad here, so I guess I'll wrap this video up. I think the launch is going to be absolutely amazing for them, especially since AMD doesn't really have anything to really counter them in the high end right now. So it's definitely going to be a quite interesting time indeed. And if they do add a capture card into the graphics cards, well, well then this video is proof that I can see the future.
you didn't think about it, it makes perfect sense, especially since, especially in the high-end cars, well, maybe even the 3080i, 3080 and maybe even the 3070, they should be able to capture the 4K 6Hz gameplay, no problem. And that's gonna save people so much money because capture cards cost a lot, like 100, 200, 300 pounds, something good. So I think that would be a great benefit for Nvidia because they're gonna be saving people a lot of money because they're going to be a perfect solution for people. They're going to, you know, say, oh, I could mainly buy this AMD card and then a capture card on top, or I could just buy this Nvidia card and have both and save a lot of money. So it's going to definitely be a great thing for them if they do that. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on the thing. Um, if you want to talk to me or others about this anymore, then I have a Discord, which is linked down in the description below. And also, as always, if you're in need of a new PC, maybe check out runsystem.com. We are still running right now, despite the whole lockdown thing. We'll try to run for as long as we can. If something changes, I'll definitely try to make an announcement about it. And also, I have a Patreon. If you if you want to you know help support the channel monetarily, it's also down in the description below. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video in a slightly different setting to my usual office. If you did, subscribe, like ever, and I'll see you all in what I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.